Um, oh. So yeah, we have a, we have a few things. Um, let's just talk this through. Let's just let's just uh-huh. as a group. Um, so we're gonna we've got to go back to 1982, October 3rd, 1982. You all know, guess what was the major anime that premiered October 3rd, 1982? TV anime series in Japan, mecha series, beloved, spawned a major franchise today. Macross. Uh, yes. Well done. Uh, oh. Super Dimension Fortress Macross, episode one, um, oh. October 3rd. Uh, moving forward to 1995, we had a very another very well-known uh, mecha series premiered. Um, also spawned a franchise. Absurdly it's not popular. Evangelion. Movie. Yes, it? it is Evangelion. <laughs> you got it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Eva Sorry, premiered. Evangelion. Yes, Evangelion. That's, that's I called it for years. <laughs> Evangelion. That's what that show is. I love it. Uh, Noeen, Genesis, Evangelion. Um, yeah. Moving forward a few years, 2002, Naruto premiered on TV Tokyo. So I still can't believe it was. I mean, 18 it's years not ago. recent anymore, but it yeah. seems like it's so it recent. <laughs> Once you cross the 2000 mark, mm-hmm. it just seems like, oh, that's relatively recent. <laughs> for like 20 years ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really. <laughs> right. Um, and such spawned a whole bunch of Lincoln Park AMVs. Yes, yeah. it did. Um, so here's the thing. Um, a baby born the day that Naruto came out can now drink legally. <sighs> yep. Uh. <laughs> uh, moving forward, uh, harder to remember, uh, harder to, to know. Uh, 2003, uh, October 4th, 2003, uh, we got the premiere of Full Metal Alchemist in Japan. So yeah, FMA is 17 years old this week. Wow. Uh, which wow. is amazing to think about. Uh, that FMA came out a year after Spirited Away. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, no, no, no. I take that back. Um, uh, a year, after, uh, two years after Spirited Away. Um, a year still. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, just I mean, it gives you a great appreciation for the fact that how technology has really driven the snowball, Mm -hmm. like, amazingly. Mm Because it's like all of these super, super well-known, super popular series, they're after the turn of the millennium. And it's just, it's it just keeps gaining momentum. Mm -hmm. It's just like, wow. Yep. Um... Uh, let's see here. Um, what a time to be alive. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, I'm looking forward actually to early November because we have a future date in anime history. I'm trying to do a few of these. Um, I think in somewhere here I have the, the, the date of uh, first impact, you know, worth noting uh, from Evangelion. But uh, November, uh, November 6th, 2022 is the day that Sword Art Online comes online. Yes, the world of SAO in the show came online in 2022. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of those little meme things that run around. They're like, oh, yeah, October 3rd. If you love Mean Girls and something else, I don't know what. Uh, I think it was Full Metal Alchemist. Hmm. October 3rd. Yeah, yeah. It's like in in the pocket watch, it says October Mm. 3rd. And Mean Girls, uh, yeah. Lindsay Lohan says something about, oh, no, it's October 3rd. And it's like, okay, you know, you get these weird, you know, dates that come across. It's like, well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just always weird when you catch up to the future. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like Buck Rogers. Yeah. You know, it's like, it that was, like, you know, when you, you catch up to the point where it's like he gets frozen and mm-hmm. this is the future now. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it looks um, nothing like that. Yeah. I remember, um, I'm actually pulling up, um, let's see here, uh, the plot of the original Macross. Um, well, it did, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, the SDF Macross crash lands in, uh, on South Italia Island in 1999. <laughs> that already happened yeah. quite a while ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, they launched in 2009. So... SDF well, one is already is, is we don't have a intergalactic space war. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> the bad news is we don't have Valkyries. Mm. Damn it! 
<laughs> I, I do love how the Macross franchise has this wildly, overly optimistic view of technological pro progress. Of, you know, alien spaceship crash lands on Earth, and 10 years later, we have developed transformable Valkyries out of that technology. It's great, you know. And then I think we've created out the alien technology in 10 years. That's yeah. Because, you know, that's a thing. Totally. I mean, look how long they've been retro engineering the crash spaceship from Roswell. It, and right. we still don't have anything it's, good out of that. It takes a while. I mean, um, <laughs> I've got to talk on my smartphone and use the microwave now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, Macross <laughs> 7 is, um, let's see here. Uh, well, Macross 7 pushed the, the storyline back a little bit. Um, the space war uh, started, started in 2009 by that point. Um, but then, um, let's see here. The, the deep space colonization program begins two years later. <laughs> so we're colonizing deep space two Ow. years after like Earth is annihilated uh, and Zentradi, and then uh, it's 19 years after that that we have Mega Road class ships, uh, which are giant space colony ships. It's like, okay, all right, all right, Macross, cool. Um, well, hey, one of the things <laughs> that they never really effectively addressed after the initial Macross series is the fact that at the tail end, they do actually grab a a factory production facility oh. and drag it into orbit with Earth. Okay. Mm. So that what the Zentradi have been using to produce automatically mm -hmm. the materials and the ships that they don't understand, supposedly. Yeah. Um is this giant factory complex and gotcha. it cranks out ships cool. and it cranks out. I think it cranks out the SDF too. Ah, gotcha. Um, oh. and that's what Rick Hunter and Lisa Hayes mm. <laughs> by, by their Robotech names mm -hmm. supposedly go off into the galaxy. Ah, so that's, gotcha. that's the facility mm. that then is totally dropped off of any mention ever again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> got oh. a giant orbital facility producing ships yeah. and nobody yeah. wants to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, did you watch the uh, the Shadow Chronicles? The Robotech Protect Shadow Chronicles? I watched. Uh, I think I watched part of it. Okay, yeah. Um, um, that's fun. Spoilers. Um, because um, they the, the one of the sort of starting you know storylines of that is that they get a message from Rick Hunter in deep space. Oh. Yeah, um, saying hey, stuff's happening. Uh, and it's like, oh, oh, right, that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a plot line. Zentradi don't just live local here. <laughs> or if you if you remember, love mm. the movie, mm -hmm. the Zentradi and the Meltrandi. That's right. So the men, the men and the right. women, and they're all fighting a three sided war. Yeah. Well, that was the thing is that um, uh, after the after Robotech, um, uh, mm, um, some of the Zentradi said we're going out to like find all of them and bring them yeah. you know protoculture and all that stuff and fight, like stop these wars that are going on all across the universe um that was always a plot line but we never really see much of that yeah it just sort of drops yeah. off because we have to have our stories about our singing idols and all that stuff <laughs> yeah as i say sharon apple is that yeah. that's the one of the that's singers the yeah. plus yeah yep and uh um cheryl gnome in uh, macross frontier um Oh, Macross Plus. That is a... Uh, that's anime right there. That is, that is an amazing work of anime. <laughs> ha, have, has anybody else ever said that? <laughs> <laughs> you a few might be people. the only one. A few people. I think, I think it's a fairly, fairly popular opinion. Um, mm, mm, mm. Uh, cool. 